An update now on a story we first brought you last night on Vancouver Island Report. That dead sea lion that's been decaying on a beach in Campbell River for the past two months is one of many that have washed ashore beheaded on Vancouver Island. The Department of Fisheries is charged with investigating the deaths, but it isn't clear who, what agency, if any, is in charge of removing the rotting carcasses. As CTV's Gord Kerbis reports, the locals may soon take things into their own hands. It arrived on Christmas Eve, but people living along this beach south of Campbell River say a headless sea lion was not the gift they were hoping for. Most of them show up intact. That's the first one I've seen with no head. That's the first one I've heard of with no head. The mammal washed ashore here at Ocean Grove and, just like the others, is on the beach with its head missing. I don't know why they'd show up with no head and, and uh, body parts missing, but uh, there's got to be a reason for it. The December 24th arrival of the mammal comes after a series of other headless sea lions appeared on Vancouver Island beaches, including in Campbell River in the Comox Valley. It sparked a mystery as to who or what is responsible for them. Oh, I love them. You know, they're just beautiful animals. You don't very often see them. But I just was shocked when we saw this with its head off. The Department of Fisheries and Oceans couldn't confirm whether this is a sea lion that had already been discovered and accounted for at another location before washing up here. Neighbors say prior to this sea lion washing up, there was a sea lion sunning itself on a nearby rock before disappearing. It's not clear whether this is the same mammal, but they say the carcass is disturbing to both the eyes and the nose. We don't get the odor, but uh, the neighbors said it's starting to get a little dicey, you know. The sea lion is right in front of Jack Jacolo's home. Tell me a little bit about the odor. It's like a dead person. <laughs> and you can smell it for quite a distance? Well, I could smell it up on the deck when the, when the wind is right. Well, we could smell it down way back there. Being so close to the ocean, those living in these waterfront homes tell me they often get to see some very strange wildlife activities. Although this is the first time a sea lion has washed ashore, often they get to see deer making the swim across from Quadra Island. And within the past year, there was that mysterious pig that washed ashore. Well, somebody figured that maybe it had uh, fallen off a barge or something. It had been or something, I mean, because it was a full pig. Okay. <laughs> well, that we couldn't figure out either how a pig would be out there. The pig was eventually taken care of by burning it, but the only plan neighbors have for the sea lion is perhaps splitting it open so anxious eagles and gulls can get better access to it. Cord Kerbis, CTV News, south of Campbell River.